Big Love Poetry Series, your spoken word network. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, IG, and YouTube, where black love is all love. Always giving glory to God with prayer-inspired motivational poetry broadcasting live on blogtalkradio.com. The Pick a Poet Showcase hosted by Tanea Queen T. Smith and co-host Sophia Pope. Praising through poetry and scripture Sunday evenings at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. This is a family affair spreading love and testimony. Studio hotline is 516-666-9808 on your spoken word network. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome to Pick a Poet Showcase. We are back for another evening with Queen T and Unique, yours truly. So, so, Dolo, how you doing today, Queen T? I am doing well. Thank you, sis. I am so excited to uh, be here with you. As always, it is Sunday. We have made it to the end of the week. Um, I'm so happy God gave us a new opportunity um, to get it right. Um, and anything that, you know, we didn't get a chance to do, God has given us another chance. Um, I'm excited to be here with you, sis. But listen, I pray um, that everyone had a fulfilling week um, and that, listen, um, you was blessed in some kind of way. Listen, if you are still breathing, then that shows that you have victory. You still have a voice. Um, and at the end of the day, listen, that means we both have testimonies. Sitting here, I'm looking at a testimony and vice versa. But listen, before we kick off anything this evening, uh, we're going to do it like we normally do it. We are going to have a word of prayer. Um, I would love to welcome back our prayer warrior of the month, Jalen Havier, um, to pray us in. How are you doing, good brother? Tell us how you are feeling this evening. Can you hear me? Uh-huh. Yes. Hello. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm doing well. Doing well, man. So glad to be here with you all again. Once again, I just thank y'all for this time and this opportunity. Um, let's go before the Lord. Uh, Father God, we just come before you once again, Lord. Always, always give you thanks, Lord, for just every moment we have, God. We, we have learned, especially during this year, Lord, to never take this time, these small moments that we have, uh, just to say thank you. Or we cannot thank you enough, God. Even if we had 10,000 times, it would not be enough to give you praise and to, to truly say how good you have been to us, Lord. But we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for who you have been to us and, and for what you've done, Lord, bringing us to this day. Lord, I just pray today that you would just be present with us on this line. God, we just thank you for every uh, uh, work and every labor that went to make this thing a reality, Lord. And I just pray that you would just be with all of us, uh, that, you're, that you may be glorified and that someone out there will hear something that will empower them, that will challenge them, that will encourage them, um, and that it will bring to light, you know, what your plan is, your ultimate plan for your life is, and that you are to be glorified and that you have a purpose and a destiny for every life that's on this line, that's listening, that will hear it later. And we just thank you in advance for all that you're going to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Listen, thank you so much for that powerful prayer. We are always excited to hear from you, hear your voice. Um, you're such an amazing good brother. Listen, before we move any further, we would love for you to take the time out to shout out, uh, listen, your loved ones, your pastors who may be listening this evening as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, always a uh, shout out to my beautiful wife, Lashika, um, to my family, uh, Macon, Milledgeville, and down the way, uh, my church family, Lundy, uh, home, and then my church family here, Global, Bond, Spirit and Truth, everyone out there. Uh, just thank y'all for listening in and support. Love y'all. 
Absolutely. Listen, we send all that love uh, through the airways to those who are listening and even in support of you. And of course, once again, uh, we pray a boomerang of blessings come upon you. Um, thank you so much for allowing us uh, to be a part of your heart to God as you pray us in and out every show. Uh, listen, this month has started off so powerful. Um, we had an amazing month of Let the Lyricists Speak. Um, as usual, God sees fit to give vision, and then he also sees fit to see it come to pass. And so we are a grateful of the experiences that we have had this month. We appreciate this all of those uh, who rock with us every Sunday and on the replay. You all can rock with us every Sunday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as we bring you some clean, wholesome, and family-friendly poetry. This is a two-hour event of prayer-motivated poetry. The first hour of the show, we are showcasing our pickup poet for the evening. We will then open the lines up for our open with Mike and our uh, message cipher, uh, which I'm so excited about. And that is your opportunity to speak your piece, not just off a piece of paper, but your actual piece of mind. Sophia, could you let the listeners know how they are able to find us and how they can also call in? Of course, you can check us out online and listen on blogtalkradio.com. We do have a Facebook page, Pick a Poet Showcase. So make sure you type in in that search bar um, and just make sure that you follow us so that you can see everything that's happening. Check out our lives, recordings, and you can call us at 516 516- 666-9808 and make sure to press the number one so that you can get in queue so that we can see you and you raise your hand for us and we know that you want to spit your piece. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Queen. Listen, we are going to take a quick commercial break uh, to hear some of our exceptional sponsors, but listen, don't go nowhere. Stay tuned to the Black Love Poetry Series Network where Black love is all love. Want to sanitize your business or home? Enjoy some peace of mind knowing you did everything you could do to protect your family and your customers and their families. Cleaning only removes some of the harmful germs. Sanitizing keeps that germ. Go the obvious mile. Protect your family today. Call 267-291-4489. Or visit them on www.badcleaningservices.com. Serving Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for Black Love Poetry Awards 2020? Who will be the artist of the year? The Your Oral Diction Author of the Year. Outstanding Poet of the Year. Black Love's Essential Worker of the Year. Don't miss this incredible award show. March 6, 2021, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. Broadcasting live on Facebook, IG Replayed, and YouTube. On all our Black Love Poetry Series network pages and channel. And of course, www.blackloveportraitseries.com, where black love is all love. Now listening to the Black Love Poetry Series Network, your source for spoken word. You heard. All right, guys, and we are back. If you are just tuning in, you are listening to the Pick a Poet Showcase. Listen, all this love is brought to you by the Black Love Poetry Series Network. I am your host, Queen T, and joining with me is my beautiful co-host and partner in rhyme, Sophia Pope, also known as Soso Dolo, since we are back for another evening together. Yes, we are back. We are back, and the air actually feels a very light much lighter um because queen t <laughs> engaged on yesterday yeah. the future miss <laughs> cooper if you're on zoom if you're on our fb live you see the shirt she is the future miss <laughs> cooper so i have a little something for her oh before we get started she places hearts in hand he protects it with one life granted flaws and past renewed 
but she only sees what her soul invited in. Love never looks so fragile and true. Bronze stronger than 600 LB deadlifts. He carries the weight so she is light and burden free. She massages ego, mind, body, and soul. They are now we. Now the world will have to accept all that they pour out, mimicking and learning what love looks like. Grateful that I'm changing your name, my future Miss Cooper from Spark the Poet. Congratulations, y'all. <laughs> That's what you told me to. Uh, Look, we ain't trying to get you to start crying again, but don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I, you don't see my eyes are already not open. I can't cry. Not a near another tear. Oh, thank you so much. That was so, oh, man. Oh. We are so happy for you. The love that is shared between you two is just phenomenal. Um, and we wish you nothing but light and love and happiness. And that's coming from not only Damien, who messaged me really quick before the show, <laughs> um, <laughs> to let you hear that piece, but from all of your Black Love family, your listeners, from to everyone that loves and knows you guys, we just wish you guys the best. We really do. Thank you so much. And to Damien, who is <laughs> Right, that's how I felt. That's how I felt. Oh, oh to, to you, so he's an amazing man, and to you know my family, who they're encouragers, and I'm I am blessed to be one of the examples of black love. And so I, I'm floored. This weekend was amazing, and I'm gonna get through this show. Hoodie, Hoodie <laughs> you know, ain't gonna have show. us crying because. <laughs> We're not going to have both of us on here crying. He's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. So when we get through this show, but thank you so much. Um, I'm so grateful. So, okay. All right. So I'm going to get back to it. We're going to get back to the show. Um, Sophia, I am happy to announce um, that's coming back home to grab this mic for the entire hour this evening is our brother and fellow warrior, Earl Hoodie, uh, who we love to call Hoodie. I'm so excited, right, that I get to read his bio and then immediately now after the sound of this cracking voice. And all of these things, uh, we will be blessed. You're going to be blessed to hear a better voice um, after, oh, my God, to read his bio. Listen, Earl Hoodie, formerly known as Earl Cornelius Jr., um, is a Christian rap artist out of Macon, Georgia. Hoodie is not your conventional rap artist. With a gospel choir and choral singing background, Earl Hoodie emerged out of his former alias, uh, R&B singer E. Soul, after failed relationships, educational struggles, and disappointing performances, only through God, Earl's music shifted from lust, bitterness, rejection, and hate to Jesus. Hoodie began his music career back in 2013 with a three-part mixtape series titled Exhortation, inspired from a concept he saw from Lil Wayne. Outside of his music, Hoodie hosts his own podcast, Can We Talk Jesus?, which is in its third season and manages his own record label, E-Beats Production, LLC. His latest single, Every Me, is available now in digital stores, SoundCloud, and the official music video on YouTube. Hoodie, you are home. Welcome I'm back. back. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. So glad to be back. Didn't expect how this was going to turn out, but as all guys doing, and I know a lot of things happened in the past, but you know, everything happens for a reason. So I'm Absolutely. not excited that. Absolutely. I'm so excited. I'm excited. We are excited um, to hear from you. Um, we are excited to showcase you and your abilities um, and what all you have in store for us. Listen, let's just let's jump right in. Now we can start with a selection or we can start by talking to you uh, right off cuff. So how would you like it? I would think I want to hear do it again, but you know, that's just that's yeah. just my you know, my vote. <laughs> 
Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. So we're going to be listening right now to Earl Hoodie. Do it again. Do it again. Yep. Do it again. Yes. Do it again. My God said he'll do it again. Do it again. Won't he will? Do it again. Bless you. Save you. Why? Because he made you. He loved you. Yeah. Do it again. Let's go. Do it again. He'll do it. Do it again. My God said he'll do it again. He will. Do it again. Yeah, do it again. Bless you, uh, baby, uh. Why? Because he made you. He loved. Oh, Woke you up this morning in your right mind. In your right mind. Put food on the table. He is so kind, so nice. Gave you strength to walk. I to see. Hands to touch. Mouth to speak. I designed it so unique. He made our foot right out the ground. He gave you feet to turn around. Okay, to him. You hear that sound? It is time to wear our crown. Not by work, by his grace. Yeah. We've already won this race. Uh-huh. If you just stay in your place, he will meet you face to face. My God will do it again. Do it again. Do it again. I know he will do it again. My God said he'll do it again. Do it for me, Lord. Do it again. Uh-huh. Do it again, bless you, baby. Why? Because he made you. He loves. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Uh huh. Do it again. My God said he'll do it again. He'll do it again. Do it again. Every time. Do it again. Bless you, kill, baby, kill. Why? Because he made you. He loves. Hey, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. My God said he'll do it again. Hey, do it again. 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 Renew our hearts, our minds, our body, and soul. Seek you first instead of the silver and gold. The blessings come from doing the things we are told. Reveal the world, the lies, the lust, the flesh. The goal of man should not be but in breath. The goal of God is the heart under the chest. Do we not want the best? Yes, we do. So change your ways. Uh, trust in him. Uh, if you fail, he won't condemn. Yep. If you love the Lord with all your heart, uh-huh. Jesus, Jesus, he will do his part. Make ways out of no way. He'll make ways out of no way. He'll make ways out of no way. Yes. Jesus is the way. My God will do it again. Do it again. Do it again. My God said he'll do it again. I know he will. Do it again. Yes, he will. Do it again. Bless you. Save you. Why? Because he made you. He loves. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. My God said he'll do it again. I know he will. Do it again. Won't he will? Do it again. Bless you. Baby. Why? Because he made you. He's up. I'm telling you what I know. Because I know he will. He did it for me. Oh, my God. Won't he will? This is my testimony. This is my testimony. This is my testimony. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. My God said he'll do it again. He'll do it again. I know he will. Do it again. Let he will save you. Why? Because he made you. He loves. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. My God said he'll do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Bless you. Save you. Why? Because he makes it. He loves. Do it again. Do it again. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Look, now that, horn. that horn that <laughs> <laughs> that horn is from a kill. You have people going saying, "Yo, I love this." Yeah, I love um, this. We had our prayer warrior from last month just text me saying he really liked that song. Yes. Um, so yeah, that's a really yeah. dope song. Where Thank did you. you how did you get the inspiration from for that song? When did you write it? Uh I wrote it um last year. The inspiration came from just one day I was working when I was at UPS 
I was a supervisor at that time and I was in the trucks, you know, scanning packages. And, you know, for me, when God gives me ideas for beats and stuff, it just started flowing all of a sudden. Dinner, dinner. That was all how I started. It was just like this when I was doing something. Dinner, dinner. And I just started doing that. And anytime I keep repeating stuff like that, I take my phone, I get the recorder, and I just play that one part. I just sing it or whatever. And then, so I won't forget it. But sometimes, most times, I forget it. <laughs> so I put it in there. And then, um, Later on, I just started getting the word. Actually, the words and that beat came at the same time. Do it again. It just kept playing over and over. And then uh, a few weeks when I actually sat down and just put the track together and started writing it out, God gave me the words to it. And and, and that's the way I do my music, man. I, I make the beats. All my music has been made beats by me. You know, I love to make music ever since my senior year in high school, um, production-wise. And so when I put the beats together, you know, I don't write yet. You know, most rap artists will write their stuff first and mm -hmm. then they'll put it on a track. I'm the opposite. I can make the music and then I'll sit and like, okay, God, what do you want me to write with this? Like recently, I've just, I haven't done this track yet, but I've written to it. I'm not even done with it. And it's like, whoa. And it's just like, that's how God puts it out there. And it's always aligning together with the whole, you know, idea of that song. So that's why, you know, I just, I don't know. That's just the way style God got me to put music out there. So Do It Again was just like that. Just about every song, actually. That's how I write my music. That's so dope. It's so dope because, first of all, the words in itself speak for itself. Um, and a lot of times it can be some of the best encouragement um, that whatever God has done, he is more than capable of doing it again. And that fits with I can I can boldly say it fits in every situation. Every situation that we are faced, that baseline is do it again. Like just and and if you have to just keep saying that over and over again. Right. If you got it's, it's that's enough. Um, that's enough to get you through exactly what you're facing with. If you don't know a scripture to grasp, if you don't know, uh, you know, you don't have the the most eloquent of words to use to put on your situation and circumstances, saying anything that's simple and repetitive is the best teacher in the world. And just saying that over and over again to get it good in your mind that whatever he did before, he will do it again. That's it's right. it's more than just a um I could move to it because now listen I I was moving so I know <laughs> that that's that's official but my thing is the words behind it mean so much because you can have a good time but you can also have a good memory and that thing to me was powerful because like you said it started with some beats and some sounds but then when the words came that's what laid it down for me so it was a beat for me but at the end of the day the the words behind it right the words behind it was a whole testimony in itself um right. and so i'm excited about that i know um uh, with something being that catchy or with something like i said repetitive speaking is like one of the best teachers like for you i'm gonna ask you personally for you being a rapper a artist i like to say um a creative what were some of the things that god gave you to be able to draw them in like you know he said he would give us some of the foolish <laughs> things to to bring in some wise individuals what is it for you that draws people into this like the ministry of my music as a whole no. well it can be some good thing mainly is the good of what i write you know the, mu the, the lyrics is really what draws people in i know from some uh elder members of the church or any church when I go like some are not really in the Christian hip hop or not really in the Christian rap or not really in anything other than gospel and even Christian contemporary and I've gotten responses before in the past where some will come to me and this this man he was a pastor he's like you know and I really didn't get into that Christian rap and stuff but when I hear you when the words that was portrayed in the, or spoken in the song and y'all got more into it he got more right. involved because it's really right. about the words you can put a nice beat on anything and then just talk about anything really right. and right. and people will like some people will like that but if you're really trying to get something to fill your spirit you know to fill you up to encourage you or something like that you want that type of music Absolutely. and that's what God has about me
Are you a business owner in need of some reasonably priced advertising for your business or brand? Black Love Poetry Series is having a grassroots deal. That's right. We're helping our fellow entrepreneurs, brand ambassadors, even our event promoters in these trying times with a 10-day free trial of aggressive online advertising so you can experience our custom ad campaigns. We'll work diligently for you on any budget, anywhere from digital flyers, commercial production, to our television and radio features. Qualify today for this free introductory offer and start thinking outside the box in this highly competitive market. Call today, 864-660-3226 for a phone consultation. Polyphonic Studios is a state-of-the-art recording studio and content creation company located in Bourne, Massachusetts. They specialize in the production of music, podcasts, audiobooks, voiceovers, and sound design for film and video. They firmly stand by the motto, you're going to love the way you sound. Polyphonic Studios was created by and for producers, engineers, and musicians with a custom-built system designed to create sound recordings of the absolute highest quality. They are equipped to work with everybody from voice actors, singers, bands, music producers, podcasters, and record labels. Contact them today at polyphonicstudios.com or follow them on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Polyphonic Studios. Your Spoken Word Network, powered by Black Love Poetry Series, on Roku TV. I can sit here and uh, what I like, I used to do R&B stuff, uh, stuff. I used to just write up songs. I used to have a hard time with that. And then like a little bit later, I just got inspired by some stuff. But the point is when I write Christian rap music or gospel as a whole, all my music it aligns with God's word. And as much as I tried to steer away from it in the past, I tried to now, it's just like, no, because God always has a message for me to put in every song. Every song is important. And that's why I don't take it lightly. So when I sit down and, and, and the beat is made, I mixed it and everything, I'm like, okay, God, what do you want me to write? And I can have this, I do it again. I had stuff rocking in my head with some lyrics, you know, at that time. And I was thinking about it. But when I actually sat down with God, it was like, this is what I want you to write. This is the next line. This right. is like every right. line matched up to what he wanted me to put. And it right. flowed and it rhymed. And that's what attracted. Now, that's the good side. There have been some bad sides now. I've gotten responses from people. It was like, you talking about my family. You calling me out. And right. I don't even know you like right. that. So, <laughs> right, 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 right. 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 That's, that's the, what God that's the anointing. Me. Yeah, that's right. the anointing in me now from God just is speaking to that person. You feel conflicted, not because right. of me, but what right. God was saying through the song. And for me to say that and for you to take that, and I don't right. even really know you like that, then you know that's God. That's not me. Right, right. So. I think it's powerful um, to draw people uh, with your, your work. And like you said, it's, it's a twofold. It's either they're going to receive it. Or did not or not so much. Um, but you would be amazed, like you said, of people who are not even I'm not for it. Point right. blank in the period. When I grew up, you wasn't even allowed to step in church. You might just be a step closer to hell if you stepped in church <laughs> as a step troop. And what so my thing say? is <laughs> You know, and so my thing is, no, everybody wasn't for that. But I've seen people, I've seen people give their life to Christ. I've seen people get their breakthrough. I've seen people um, get what they needed from God, whatever that was that they needed, based off of somebody just being willing to be used. And that's in any case. And so in your form, I agree with you that you're going to see um uh, both lines, both perspectives, um, but but we're praying that on your end, everything that you put out, somebody, if it's nobody, if it's just one person, you did what you were supposed to do. You did your part. And however far that goes, you would be surprised. One person can take your message further than you can. 
If they if that's in their heart, they can pass that further than you can, and that's what it's about. It's about who it can reach and how far it can go for the impact, not the light. Because you are gonna get the light, you are gonna get the recognition, but it's about who you impact. And so I love it. I love your work. Um, I love your work, and I, I think I don't know. I think it's amazing. But listen, I appreciate it. Sophia, do you have anything, sis? Yeah, because like you were saying, like you know, having those two different perspectives, seeing kind of both sides of the spectrum. Um, and like you said, you used to be an R&B artist, so you've been on both sides. Um, yeah. What do you yeah. think was the biggest obstacle with that transition? Because a lot of people are trying to transition, and I feel that what happens is they mix it instead of fully coming over, if that makes sense. You know, they have a hard time separating the two, Where, and they, I feel like they want to um, you know, get on that side. They they want to, they hear that calling, but they still trying to hold on. And it, it's yeah. like with you, I didn't know you were when you were ESOL. Yeah. But when I'm listening to your music, there is no division, if that makes sense. There's no mixing. Right. There's no, right. this is strictly right. word of God. That's it. Right. So what do you think that the hardest part of that transition is maybe for others to really get all the way on board and truly take that calling and, you know, really go complete with it. The hardest part, I believe, it's a twofold thing. It's really, uh, one is pride because you have been in a platform for so long, like an R&B or hip hop platform, and you were probably receiving all this praise, is what I'm gonna call it, praise from people about what you write because it's it's all in your feelings, it's all about emotions. And that's one of the things of the people of the world, you know, that are reached so quick is emotion. Just like God's word, but in a sense, this is the world of music now that I'm talking about reaching out in a world sense. So the pride is one thing. And 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 the hardest part for me was the uh not the transition was just shift the shift itself, you know, because my mindset was so stuck in the world since my 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 heart my like i said in my bio the, the lust factor and all that stuff i was stuck in it and i mm -hmm. and i loved it at that time because it was so you know pleasurable in everything because it's the world that's what my my heart was after you know and the things of the heart you know, out of the heart the mouth speaks because you will be attracted to those things so the thing the hardest part was just transition as a whole from rap to i mean r b to uh to christian rap and I said this story, I'll say it again. The first, one time I had went to Dublin and I had to do a um, talent show. And I did a talent, I went down there, I wrote a song and it was a very R&B song. And I was so excited that I wrote it. I was like, oh man, I did this on my own. The songs before that, it was like a producer who helped me write it. Mm -hmm. After that one track, that was it. I was like, I'm writing my own stuff. So I went to the, um, I went to the talent show and uh, I, had to, I was gonna do one song. And I was, I gave the DJ my CD and he, uh, you know, he was setting it up or whatever. So the boy before me, he did Michael Jackson impersonations. He was a little kid. Everybody liked the little kid, Michael Jackson impersonation, the spin, <laughs> you know, all yes, that stuff. Yes, <laughs> that's right. And so he did his thing and the crowd loved it and everything. And so here's my turn. I'm coming right at them. I'm like, man, do I really have to come after a kid like this? You know? So the DJ couldn't find my disc, he, and I'm like, I just gave it to you. Somehow he lost it for temporarily. And so when I was up there, it was my turn. So I'm waiting on my track, but all I could talk, I had to talk while I was waiting to get the music played. So I started talking about God, because all I could talk about was growing up in the church, singing in the choir, going to, you know, uh, all this stuff about God. I couldn't say much about really the world, because, you know, I was just singing what I felt I, my heart was attached to at that time. I mean, but my background was church, Christian boy, you know, being like that. So finally got the music, played the music, sung the music. Everybody was cheering with me about God. When I started singing that track, it was a complete opposite. And it's like a whole <laughs> dark. <laughs> and I, heard, I think I remember one person like, oh, man, <laughs> like that. And it was just terrible. And then after I did the song, I didn't place in anything. A lady came up to me and she was like, you should have did some gospel music. You was talking about church, but she wasn't doing it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people can talk and talk, but can't uh, walk and walk. That's so true. that shook me from that day forward. And then that's when I started shifting 
you know, Sophia, and I was straddling the fence then because I was doing some gospel, but I was still in the world. I was still clubbing. I was still in the mix. And then God was just pulling me out. That one moment there was the shift to this. And I didn't see it then, but I'm, I'm blessed to be where I am now. And I'm thankful that transition happened. I can't do this on my own. That's for anybody. Right. You can't do this stuff on your own. You need God's help mm -hmm. to help you shift Absolutely. to where you want to be, wherever you want to be and go. Let God be the direction to that place because he already planned it for you anyway. Right. So just let him use right. you. Right. And so that, that's the hardest part. Pride and then just, mm -hmm. just letting God do what he had to do. You know. That's dope, man. That's mm -hmm. that's powerful. And it's the truth. Substance is key. Um, and not only is substance key, man, but you know, what is it? Find your why, find your message, find what speaks to people. But man, when you got substance, um, oh, that matters. Um, now, I know I have, I'm reading the comments um, that people are sending in, so it's definitely going to touch base on that. Even um, King Elijah said on here on Zoom, who's, who stated that we, we forget as Christians um, that all of this, all of this creativity, all of this beauty in music and in that vein came straight from God. We exactly. are only focused on the fact that the devil was was uh, over, he, he could do everything. He had pipes, he could play, he could do all that. That's what they focus on. They focus on that minstrel and not where it actually came from. But we are definitely, we're going to talk about that when we come back. Um, yeah. But, um, but uh, we are enjoying you. It's definitely awesome having you here. You're not our guest you are actually family and so it's amazing to have you sitting here with us this evening what we are going to do is we're going to hear some more from you in just a moment after these messages right here on the black love poetry series network all right hello girl i need a hand man <laughs> what's going on over there this house is falling apart from the railing to these raggedy stilts. Sis, you need a handyman on the go. I've recently hired him to install my ceiling fan, and he mounted my brand new 80-inch TV on my bedroom wall, plus some other jobs around the house. Ooh, but can he handle furniture assembly or junior swing set? These days, the amusement park and the playground has to be right in the backyard. Honey, <laughs> that's easy. Consider that handle. Dealing with the handyman on the go. As a matter of fact, dial this number. You ready? 678-502-8269. Thanks. I will. Welcome to Your Oral Diction, where written and spoken word education is to empower and inspire. <laughs> Only on your spoken word network. Hello, hello, loves. I am poetess April J. Armstrong, co-CEO of Black Love Poetry Series Network, where black love is all love. And my genius is common. Powered by the Black Love Poetry Series Network, where black love is all love. We have implemented a new program at Black Love Poetry Series Network independent artist campaign for music and poetry you will receive random audio only placement of your artistry in our musical rotation commercials and promotional materials at an introductory price of $49 for your first month subscription regularly priced at $99 we have eight exciting shows that's eager to provide exposure of your artistry depending on your content seven days a week. Email your musical or poetic submissions to be selected to showcase on qualifying Black Love Poetry Series shows. We're broadcasting live on blogtalkradio.com. Distributed on www.blackloveportryseries.com to 35,000 listeners and watchers. Spotify, iHeartRadio, blogtalkradio.com. Access to over 270 million listeners. Roku TV channel, access to over 55 million of watchers, and of course, all Black Love Poetry Series Facebook pages for placement, 30,000 members strong. All submissions must be in MP3 format to Black Love Poetry Series at gmail.com. Take advantage of this outstanding offer. 
for today. Earl Hoodie himself. Uh, thank you so much for blessing us, not only with your creativity um, in your first selection and just dialogue with you. Uh, we are definitely enjoying each other. Um, and before we go any further into the interview, uh, we do want to take a moment uh, for our word of the evening. Sophia um, can definitely bring Jalen back in. Yes, most definitely. He's been giving us some great words of the evening. First Sunday, he talked um, and reminded us that this storm shall pass. Um, and he also, um, that second Sunday, um, told us to choose life. Last week, we talked about the identity crisis and how to find our identity. Um, so I'm sure that he has a great word for us this evening. So when you're ready, Jalen, please give us our word for tonight. Okay, okay, can you hear me? Yes, sir, you're good to go. Hello. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, so uh, tonight, what we're going to be talking about, uh, you say this with me, I need a physical. Say that again. I need a physical. Um, now, growing up, especially as a child, there were a couple of different destinations that people as a whole just did not want to go to. Um, for me, it was the principal's office. Our principal did not play. Um, <laughs> so it was the principal's office for me. But for some people, it might have been the dentist. But as you get older, you know, it, it changes. Some people may not want to go to the DMV, stand in the long line, or get their driver's license updated, all these other stuff, go to the tax office, all this other stuff. But there's one place uh, as you become an adult, especially historically for men, where they don't want to go. And that's the doctor's office. Um, you can look at different research and you see, you know, this huge gap, you know, especially with men where they just will not go to the doctor, but people as a whole don't really go to the doctor enough. Now, you may find all kind of reasons for why people won't go. Some people say, oh, well, you know, I'm not that sick or, you know, I don't have insurance. You know, um, then oh, some people even say, you know, man, the only, only thing you're going to get from the doctor is bad news. <laughs> so, um, but there's a bunch of different reasons why people don't like to go to the doctor. But unfortunately, you know, that leads a lot of times to people walking around suffering or having undiagnosed issues that, you know, end up becoming way worse because they're not doing their routine checkups. Um, but, you know, as bad as that is for your physical health, it's even worse for your spiritual health. Um, I believe that God is our doctor. Um, and for us as people, um, the Lord is looking for us to come get a physical. Um, so I want to look at it from this scripture. It's Psalm 139, and it's 23. Uh, it's, it's, it's Psalm 139, it's verses 23 to 24. And it says, uh, search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there's any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Um, so when it comes down to it, right, let's say there's a couple of things we want to do. We want to make sure that we not only go to the doctor, but that we see the results that we need to see. Uh, so the very first thing is to first recognize and accept, uh, that there is an infection. Um, there is a point of infection, uh, spiritually, the overall point of infection started back in Genesis 3 with the fall. Um, when that fall happened with Adam and Eve, that thing went on to every other person who would ever be born outside of Jesus, um, that we were all infected with this thing called sin and this thing called flesh, where our flesh will rise up against us even after we have been saved. We still have to deal with flesh and subdue our flesh because that point of infection all the way back in um, has affected everyone after that. Uh, so we have to recognize that there's a point of infection. The next thing we have to do, though, is just not to ignore the symptoms. Um, there's so many people who uh, get sick and they get dramatically sick. And sometimes, you know, you can't help, you know, if there's something that just might happen dramatically. But a lot of times there's been 
little warning signs that have been happening. You know, it may start with, okay, you, you're, you're, you're coughing a little bit. You're coughing a little bit more than you should know you might cough. You, you know, you may have a runny nose for a long time, cold for a long time. Uh, but then we switch over to spiritually, and it's like, okay, well, yeah, you get angry really fast, and you get unbelievably angry consistently. You may have a lack of peace consistently. Um, bitterness may be rising up in your heart. Um, so when we start seeing these symptoms, we start realizing, like, hey, there's something wrong here, and I need to get this thing checked out. So recognize that there is an infection. Next thing, don't ignore the symptoms. But then after that, we have to go go to the doctor. Um, no matter how much it costs you, no matter what time, you know, that you have to set aside to go, I go to the doctor. Make your appointment. Um, so when we go talk to the Lord, we go in prayer. We go before him and say, hey, I need you to inspect my heart. I need you to look inside of me. I love that verse where David is saying um, in Psalm 139 because it's saying, you know, he's really showing the level of vulnerability where he's saying, hey, I'm here in the doctor's office. I got some stuff going on. And you know what? I'm going to give you permission to test me, to run all my, 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 my fluids, my blood, do my blood work, do everything, because I need you to, I need to know if there's something in me that is offensive and that is not right, and I need you to lead me in a way everlasting. Now, a lot of times people go to the doctor, they're not always running. They're not always, you know, telling the full truth of what they need to tell. But the thing about it is, if you aren't willing to be, you know, transparent, then there's no way that you can fully walk forward in their healing. Now, that's not me saying, hey, go show your doctor's report to the whole world after no. But when you are before your doctor, your doctor is there to help you be healed. So you have to be honest and be transparent and open with the Lord and let him know. He already knows it, but it's something about taking ownership of what is ailing you that will make this process so much better. Um, so go make your appointment. Then after that, when he does the heart exam, and he runs your blood work, and he checks your endurance, are you long suffering? When he sees are you, you know, your heart exam, are you loving people the right way? Are you forgiving people? Um, after that, you have to accept what the diagnosis is. The diagnosis, you, you, you have to accept it. Have to accept it, regardless of you know how it sounds. Whether it hurts, you know it hurts to hear it, but you have to accept what the doctor is saying. And the doctor is saying that all of us, you know, have fallen short. Every one of us has fallen short of the glory of God, and that we all need a savior. Uh, no matter how great we are doing in life, no matter how far we've gone in life, we all need a savior. We all need it. Um, but I love, the thing I love about God, especially when I'm thinking about him as a doctor, is that God doesn't stop. He doesn't stop at a diagnosis. He gives us a prognosis. And the difference between these things is that your prognosis, your diagnosis is just telling you, hey, you know, this is what's going on with you. This is what I believe is the problem. And, you know, this, this is how things look. It's just IDing things, just identifying what's going on. And a lot of people may be able to do that. You could do that yourself, you know, like, dang, I'm getting mad all the time. But So that's a diagnosis. But God is the one who will give you a prognosis. And your prognosis is the forecast, the likely course of the disease or ailment. And the thing about it is people go to the doctor expecting bad news, but God is here to give you the good news. And the good news is the gospel of Jesus Christ that said, hey, you aren't able to do this on your own, but I sent my son, Jesus Christ, to die for your sin, that no matter what you've done, no matter who you have been in your past, no matter what you did an hour ago, two minutes ago, 30 years ago, if you will come before me and confess, if you will be vulnerable, if you will believe my son and confess with your mouth, of that he is the Lord and can say that he will save you. He will change your prognosis. He will give you a 
future. And he will not only change those things in you and he will start to heal you, but he will start to show you what is the right path to go. Uh, Proverbs 4, 22 says, uh, for his words, his words are life to those that find them and health to all their flesh. So he's going to give you the medicine. He's going to first give you his Holy Spirit, um, his Holy Spirit that will start doing that hard work on you and start working in you. And certain things that you were going to do before, he can start to convince you and show you that, oh, man, that's not the way to go. Um, not only that, but he gives us supplements that we can pay, that's quiet time, that's prayer, that's fasting, that's reading, that's speaking the word of God, reading the word of God, and, and believing. Um, and all these things are that medicine that you are taking daily and seeing your condition change. So I want to encourage you today, um, and this is for me, especially for all of us, that we need to continually take time out every single day. You go to the regular doctor maybe once or twice a year, you know, if everything's good to go, but you need to go to your spiritual doctor. You need to go to God every day so that we can truly see healing, so we can truly see things change, and that we can not only be healed, but that we can take that same word out to other people and let them know, hey, this is where you go if you want to be healed. Amen. Amen. That was such a powerful word from Jalen. So we've heard it from God on high. This storm will pass. Choose life. Get your identity and go to the doctor in real life and in your spiritual life. Amen. 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 <laughs> hey. <laughs> Look. I didn't Look, call it before I knew it. I had done heard it. That's like, why we, this is why hey, we stay on mute, y'all, during Word of the Evening. Because we be it. shouting, dancing, and everything. Was like, Lord, have mercy. I don't know if I'm muted. <laughs> 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 Aja Essentials, established in 2018. Organic beauty and skin products order today on SD Aja Essential Store discover your beautiful skin check them out on Facebook at Aja Essentials nourish your beautiful hair gift packages are available protect your beautiful vibe. Check them out. Instagram, Twitter, at Aja Essentials. Cherish the beautiful you with Aja Essentials. Yo, what's up, G? Yo, man, let me get the usual. Bop, cranberry on ice. All right. Keep it chill. Thanks, man. Yeah. Man, what a work week. Think I go get some poetry. And my favorite spot, where it's always on the valet. They know me. Straight VIP. I'm known as the OG. They know to keep the drinks right when I step through the door. The bottle's on the table. Lady staring at me. Girl, who that is? It's the young movie star. I'm an ordinary cat, not your average show. We can sip a little wine, two step it on the floor. Welcome to the cafe. Got plenty drinks up and plenty. Ladies in this cafe. Everybody get the long soul food to eat. Welcome to the cafe. I'm a poetry junkie, and guess what? We gon' get hot together. My poetry just happens to be my savior from going insane. More like a release valve for the brain. Written verses upon the membrane keeps my addicted ass tame. I could be sexy, sweet, romantically inclined like every day's Valentine. Steal your heart with one single mind. When I'm mad, my poetry print never declines to write 
over time. Every insidious plot against me, she's never blind. I kept on a golden tree jump. But welcome back. We are back in with our brother, Earl Hoodie. He's not even a guest. He's family, y'all. So we, we're just having fun with him. We are. Now, Earl, I have a question from the people for you. Um, I know you weren't ready for it. It's okay. You're fine. So <laughs> Mr. Elijah Pringle, who's on Zoom with us, actually wanted to ask you, who would you like to collaborate with on a future project? Hmm. Good question. Ooh, good question. All right. So I've really been listening to this artist, KB. He's a Christian hip hop artist, Christian rap artist. He just released a track. Um, he just released an album. It was it, it's great. It's awesome. He takes contemporary Christian music and he'll tie it with hip hop beats and whatever he puts it together. And he's great in his theology and the word too. And so, and um that would be one. And then another one would be Flame. I don't know if you guys have heard of Flame. He's a Christian rap artist as well. And, <laughs> yeah, right I, hand. Yes, and I, I love like him. His, yes. I, yeah, I like his creativity too and his music as well. He's very theologically based, but he yes. can take a beat and let it just yes. go. With it, man. So those would be two artists I would like to um, link up with for working together. Yeah. On top of my head, uh, those would be the two. Awesome, awesome. Well, KB or Flame, if you are tuning in yes. somehow yes, and yes, have yes. heard this or saw this, y'all better promote and share because we need to make it happen. Period. Yeah, absolutely. We need to make it happen. absolutely. It's ne it's necessary. <laughs> it's necessary. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it definitely it is necessary. <laughs> right. That's it. it. That's it. I, I'm in agreement. We are all in agreement. Uh, that Listen, the necessary doors um, that are going to open for you and your voice, um, it just comes a time where it's just your season to be heard. And when your season to be heard is here, your voice needs to be heard and just more than the familiar um, that it has been. I am so excited um, to hear our next uh, selection called Heart Talk. Now, now you notice I said our next selection. Our um, next. It's, it's hoodies. It's all his. I just, I felt like our. it was family for just a minute. I just, wait a minute. Now, I didn't do this with him, but Heart Talk, Heart Talk is coming up next, y'all. So listen, let's, let's listen to these words to this song. Man, I gotta get a heart to you. Let's talk to you. Injustice everywhere. Puts my life in scare. Uh -oh. When the cop is near, I have to steer clear. Someone caught Corona from the smoke aroma. They're not a smoker. Is their life over? Uh -oh. Having a tough time to really breathe. Whether it's disease or constantly. Both situations for me in the scare. Where the fight has not been fair. I really don't trust nobody. Every decision I make is false. Gotta play my part. If I want to spark to end on a good note, like a check mark. Check. See the weather change. It looks really strange. Just stand over the sea. How could it be? Chillings in the hood. What's really good? Does Black Lives Matter? From here on after. Now I have to take a stand. Cause the situation hand Just for me to be in the street uh -huh. I don't want to go down in the feet uh, I gotta put my trust in God Even though my life seems strangely odd That I know this is a difficult walk Gotta speak the truth Cause this is our talk Woo! It's real Been praying for my city, God Been praying for the health Give me my mind when I look around I start feeling overwhelmed Can't stop it coming like team Black lives matter When I pray for a world peace But it ain't getting better I'm afraid to burn out like a candle. My chest getting heavy on a daily. I know you are now I can handle. Fill my lamp with oil, God. This is my burn. Fill my lamp with oil, God. This is my burn. Fill my lamp with oil, God. This is my burn. Fill my lamp with oil, God. This is my burn. The matters of the heart. Some of you may be feeling the exact same way. But let me tell you what's on mine. Oh, yeah, 
Triple over time. Only got one shot to make. The choice is yours. I hope you score. Jesus, Lord, my soul to take. Chaos on the home front. Racism in our backyard. Pandemic talk is worldwide. This is why we pray hard. This is how I speak out. In Jesus' name, I'm not insane. Because the Holy Spirit is on me, bruh. These flames, I want to pain. It's my God's song waiting in my heart. His love, I want to part. The only issue in the world is the sin that tears us apart. So, I'm going to be bold like this. Preach like this. Testify. Jesus matters. Overall, because of him, I prophesy. In this word, I proclaim to people who lost their way, to children who never knew, to elders who rarely pray. So this is what my heart says. Connect me to the Holy One who loves most and correct. Jesus Christ, God's Son, 2020, what a year. That clear vision is finally here. It didn't come the way you expect, but now it's time to reflect. Good out. Yes. 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 That's what yes, I'm talking yes. about. Creativity during the pandemic, y'all. Yes, Lord. That's what I'm talking about. Shout out to my and cousin it, Angel. He was on that first yes. part verse he watching now. So shout out to my cousin Angel. What's up? Awesome. Awesome. And I mean, obviously, um, this is one of your newer songs. Um, you're talking about racism, um, the pandemic. Um, do you think, especially during this time, I feel like this is when we get the most creative. Um because at this point we have made a space for ourselves. We have, you know, we have this quiet time, literally, um, not really being able to be around others. Do you think that this time has opened up a better connection um, with your music, um, especially to talk about things that are happening right now? It's a good time in music also along with encouraging because i give encouraging words it's a great time any in the aspect of god period whatever you do right now in this time what for you asking about the music so right now in this time music is very important and um in this time you know i was to make that song actually god you know i made the beat and i was just playing around with it one day i was just letting it flow and it would just keep playing over and over day after day you know, I really didn't have an actual subject for that, right. for that beat for the longest. And so after, this is my first single under my music that I've actually had um, some features on artists on there. So my cousin, Angel, and the other artist, her name is Mel. She's out of uh, Chicago, uh, in Illinois, I'm sorry, in Illinois. And, you know, the message that God gave me for them was just let them speak on the matters of the heart. I really wanted to call it matters of the heart. But I was like, eh, that sounds kind of cliche -ish. What exactly can we change it up? And so he gave me the idea of heart talk. And so I messaged them and I had them in mind. I say, hey, just speak what's on your heart. And I didn't give them any type of restrictions. They, they, they talked about Black Lives Matter and the pandemic and everything. That was on their heart. And what I had on my heart was on my heart. I gave them the freedom to just let God use them. And they can tell you that. And so in this time, you know, it's great for the music because you have a lot of time to sit. You have a lot of time mm -hmm. to meditate, on, to pray to God, to focus on. And, you know, in this time, some people aren't doing that. Even, even now with this, everything that's going on, people are not doing that. And so as people of God, ministers of God, artists of God, we, this is a great time for him to speak through us. And that's why I said in my, um, in my verse, it's like in his word, I prophesy, I speak out because I know God has a message from me for me to speak to people in this time now. I just uh, got finished doing a live youth church at my church today. And God was just flowing for the youth, you know, trusting God in the midst of COVID-19. And that came from a, one of our youth themselves, a topic that wanted to talk. So, you know, this is a great time for the people of God and, and, and just to get that word out. Whatever God has on your heart, speak it. You don't even have to be a minister, pastor, whatever. God has a, as my pastor say, everybody's a minister because they have a message from God. You can speak words. It might even be tied to the Bible. What I'm saying is like word for word from the Bible. You might have something to say and it'll still touch somebody else's heart and, and, and help them in that, in that time. So yeah, that, I believe that it's a great time for the music to be used, you know, to focus on my music. So, and, but, and uh, I'm doing other stuff too with you church and everything. So I'm busy right, and everything. Right. thankful for it because mm -hmm. I, he got me doing things that I'd love to do. That I, he said, delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your own heart. I'm delighting and I'm enjoying it. And, you know, I, as I said before, people didn't hear this probably before, but this is my first official interview with you guys and my first official interview period. So I'm thankful 
to even do it a second time. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. A second time, and man, a second time it be a did good it again. time. Yeah. I know. Did it again? <laughs> I'm trying to find my Did it again? We did it again, and man, and was it amazing. It. And then before this, I mean, you guys wasn't even using Zoom yet. Now they just right. shipped it two months later. Y'all have like grown so quickly. Right. I was like, oh, man, we got to Zoom. Just elevation, so, man. I'm right. that for the stuff that did happen, I'm glad that God was actually put my face here and just meet. That's right. Me the That's right. Like, oh, everything, everything happens yeah. for a reason. And this mm-hmm. second time, and and uh, and God doing it again, He's absolutely amazing, blowing our mind as usual always listen it has been phenomenal uh being here with our brother hoodie on this evening thank you so much thank you so much for giving us your time giving us your heart giving us your talent and your gifts and and, and word and dialogue and taking us to church all of that all of the above we just are grateful uh for having you this sunday you are amazing listen this show doesn't have to stop doesn't have to end you can follow us right on over to the pick a poet showcase that starts at 9 p.m listen it's another one in the books in scene is a wrap listen remember to click share like this show on all of your social media platforms listen I, uh, we are honored hoodie to have you um and to all those who are listening in we appreciate you um and we thank you so much before we leave for this evening we what we want to do is we want to close with luke 1 and 37 um that's basically says nothing will be impossible with God. The word of God will never fail. And and that's a word. That's it. The word of God will never fail. What God said, he is more than able to do. And listen, he going to do it again, just like he promised. Man, I got to get a heart check. Let's talk to him. Injustice everywhere. Puts my life in scare. Uh-oh. When a cop is near, I have to steer clear. Watch out. Someone caught Corona from the smoke aroma. Ooh. They're not a smoker. Is their life over? I hope not. Having a tough time to really breathe. breathe. Whether it's disease or cops need. Both situations put me in a scare where the fight has not been fair. I really don't trust nobody. Every decision I make is false. I gotta play my part if I want this spark to end on a good note like a check mark. Check. See the weather change. Weather change. It looks really strange. Sand over the sea. How could this be? Could this be? Killings in the hood. Watch out. What's really good? What's good fam? Does Black Lives Matter? From here on after, now I have to take a stand. Cause the situation at hand, just for me to be in the street, uh-huh. I don't want to go down in defeat. Uh-huh. I gotta put my trust in God, even though my life seems strangely odd. Did I know this is a difficult walk? Gotta speak the truth, cause this is hard talk. Woo!